Kia ora guys, Bird here. Welcome to episode 7 of Intangible. Uh, we're up here on top of the mountain home and I have moved all the chests that were up here. They are now inside our little housekins here. So let's go ahead and hop inside and give a little quick tour of what I've dug out here over the last, uh, probably didn't take very long to dig this. Anyway, I've got my storage and crafting area set up over here. We've got a room there. Uh, here's my infinite spring, which is pretty sweet. Uh, we've got uh, this room over here is basically my intangible room. We've got a couple of familiar things around. I accidentally made some molten glass while making this thing. So that's kind of sitting over there. And then in this room over here that we overlooked, uh, this is our little bedroom area so that we can close the door after a hard day of Minecraft and go ahead and sleep the night away. And I've also got that wood floor in there and some paintings as well of uh, what appears to be uh, kind of a yellow penguin on its front. You can see there's two eyes in the beak there, and uh, this one appears to be a combination of a testificate, a Pinocchio, and Elvis. <laughs> Alright then, anyway, let's go ahead and get started with today's episode. Uh, I've got a zombie all lined up here for us today, so what we're going to have to do is learn the combination. I've already got these McGovins down there, so... Let's head back inside here and grab our gear. I've got uh, four of each of these, so uh, even if it's four of the same thing, we should be all fine and dandy. Let's go ahead and just uh, get started. Let's throw down like a, a gourd and let's say a decanter. Maybe we'll get lucky and then maybe two spirals. Let's see what happens here. Let's see. Okay, that's red, so uh, that's not good, right? Mm, that is apparently not very good. The fact that it's red there is bad? Do I have to turn both of these on in order to try this out? I think so, maybe? No, that's still red there. I've just been messing around for a couple minutes here, just trying different combinations. Uh, putting the funnel on the side here, and let's put the lever down just to demonstrate. And no, this isn't working. The funnel is connecting right there, and I checked in the knowledge gem and everything. As far as I know, I'm doing this right. So I don't know why this is turning up red, giving us an error. Or actually, no, uh, I didn't know up until a couple minutes ago when I realized zombies are undead and probably don't actually have a soul inside them. So I think trapping this guy here is kind of useless for us. So let's get him out of there and naturally he set us on fire. So we'll go ahead and put ourselves out. And I guess what we need to do now is find a creature to put in there. All right, little chicken dude. Prepare to meet Soulbone Cage. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this one should work properly now. Let's go ahead and stick the funnel over here. Get that back down. There we go. And let's put down these two soul relays right here as well. Just get those back in place. And yeah, let's just put a gourd back in here. Let's see if uh, that's the right combo. Let's see if I was right. Yeah, so that's turning green now. Right, so gourd is not the right thing for a chicken on this world save. You guys were telling me that uh, the actual, um, the seed of the world determines the actual combination. So you guys are learning the combination for a creature from this LP won't actually help you. So that's not a spiral or a gourd. Now uh, let's try a decanter next. Stick a decanter in. Let's see how that goes. It's not the decanter, meaning that it's the splitter. Alright, splitter's up first. This should work. We should at least get on the board. There we go. It's not the decanter second. Let's try another splitter. Maybe it would be like the creeper will have two splitters in a row. I think there was three splitters for the creeper actually. No, that's not that. Did I try the gourd? I'll put the gourd in. It is the gourd and it's... Uh... Alright, we got it. <laughs> Giant trumpet sound, so uh, that is the discovery of the benign soul right there. Let's just quickly read about benign souls here. Let's have a look. Go back up to the top. Uh, types of soul benign. A benign soul seems to be present in creatures that act passively or gently. I postulate that such souls will be of use in magics that require benevolence or passivity. Okay, so it, it seems like uh, but by reading that, what that says to me is that uh, the passive mobs such as the sheep uh, the cows and the chickens here and the pigs as well probably all have that benign soul inside them. 
Alright, so that is that. It looks like the night approacheth, though, so I'm going to go ahead and quickly sleep the night away, as well as set up our uh, familiar uh, apparatus over back here, and we will uh, start harvesting the souls out of this guy. Welcome back. The soul relays are now in place. Now, I've just got a second chicken here, because I thought of a kind of an interesting idea. Let's get these two chicken bros together. Well, I guess one of them's technically a lady, because otherwise, how the heck could that happen? Let's get one of those guys in there. You guys know what's coming next. So we're going to go ahead and activate uh, these two. Where's that little chicken guy go? Okay, right there. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can get the souls out of this dude. Or the single soul, and he should just immediately go in there, and there we go. Uh, he's not trying to escape, is he? I think he's trying to escape. He knows what's coming. Let's leave him right there. <laughs> so that's a yellow soul color by the looks of it, but it's not going into the blocks, is it? Ah, there we go. Sweetness. So that's round one of that. I should be able to break this with a normal pick, so that should be a benign stone. Yes, that looks to be a the basic variety by the looks of it. It doesn't have those U's on the side like the unhinged souls that we got out of the creeper, or the, the single block that we got, because I did this inefficiently. Yeah, you guys were saying that uh, four stone like this is the maximum you can get per soul. Alright, so you're pretty much useless now, aren't you? You don't have a soul in you anymore, so we can't really use you. Uh, let's get one of these other dudes in. Yeah, okay, they actually die. Righto, so let's get you in front. Hey, 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 hey. Where do you think you're going, Buster? He knows what's up. Uh, I'm out of seed, so I can't coerce these fellows. Let's see if we can push them over. Or we'll maybe get the baby in there next. Let's see. A little bit of bing. In front, is that close enough? That is close enough. And we have to reset this, don't we? So let's do that again. I'm just showing you guys uh, this stuff on camera. It seems kind of boring to me, but uh, this is the first time that we're actually uh, doing this in a, a big spree like this. So we actually do need to uh, show sort of how it works on camera. You, you guys were saying as well, uh, the mod does seem a little bit grindy. And yeah, I can definitely understand that. Uh, but one thing that I do notice is that uh, this is Chicken Mountain, but I mean, we only have so many chickens on this mountain. Um, what are we going to do when they run out? <laughs> <laughs> How are we going to get more of the stone? We need to have a way to uh, extract uh, chickens from our little farm dude. Uh, where'd that baby chicken go? There's one little chicken thing right there. We'll go ahead and grab that. Okay, we've returned the baby to the bone cage. Let's go ahead and get this uh, dude out of there. We don't need him where we're going. There we go. And let's get this baby in here. Come on, guys. Did you really think I was going to kill a baby chicken? <laughs> <laughs> well, you were you were right. We are going to kill a baby chicken. Let's go ahead and get this back on. I wonder if this is even going to work. Well, I would assume that it will work because we've got a thing in there and it looks like the actual soul that it makes appears to be a, a, a giant chicken. There you go. Big things come in small packages, as they say. And sure enough, we get four what appears to be ordinary benign stone even though it's a baby chicken well yeah so i'm heartless <laughs> enjoy that fact and yeah let's go ahead and reset this and so we have a uh, 12 of this uh benign stone now now 12 is a very interesting number when it comes to uh actually having these stones here and let's just quickly open up the knowledge gem and read about something uh that we should be able to actually do with this uh, I believe we were, let's see, yeah, so we've read this bit already, and because we've learned about uh, benign souls now, apparently uh, these are now things that we didn't see before, so uh, MNF, if you're reading this, uh, we kind of skipped around that. That's actually really interesting that it kind of does that, but anyway, maybe they already saw that. So there's this thing right here, the Well of Souls is what I'm thinking we need to hang, hang, get into next. Uh, the artificial way to store souls without the need for a corporeal host is what this well of souls actually is, and this structure must be made from 12 benign stone, which we now have, arranged in a ring of three blocks per side. When the last block is placed, the soul fragments contained within them will form the final construct. 
I'm convinced that nearby souls will be attracted to a well of souls and enter it, forever losing the last vestiges of their material forms. Alright, so that's how you make the well of souls. I'm not quite sure uh, exactly what it's going to do once it's completed here. It looks like we're already through the day again. Where exactly am I actually going to build this thing? That's a good question. Don't really want to build it like right here because this is like a, a road, but yeah, maybe somewhere over here. Let's do it in this area over here. This is nice and flat and snowy. Well, let's just do it right here. So if I just do something like this, uh, make a three out by like that. Let's see, get rid of that stone so I don't waste your ability on my pick. That's how we play. And get this one out here now. So we should just need to... Basically what it said is that all we really need to do is just throw this benign stone down. And that should be it. It should just auto-go from what it said in the knowledge gem. Let's have a look. Okay, looks like we're going to need an empty interior there too. Right. Yeah, so it didn't really uh, imply that too much. Maybe I have to, uh, like, replace one of these benign stones. Okay, well, the water went away. <laughs> Man, they gave me a fright. Okay, so uh, I could tell that I'd done something kind of right when I broke this and, like, the water inside went away. Oh. My goodness. Wow. <laughs> okay, souls... None. Do I dare step inside? I don't think it's a good idea if I step inside there. But look at this thing, guys. That is pretty awesome. We've got these uh, stalks coming out of the benign stone here. We've got these awesome effects turning into this giant glowy thing, even though there are no souls <laughs> stored inside of our well of souls here. This is... And maybe it's not quite perfectly centered as much as I would have liked, but whatever, that works right there. <laughs> Guys, that's it for this episode of Intangible. Uh, kind of interesting. Maybe it's going to be another one of these uh, slightly shorter videos, but hope you guys enjoyed it all the same. Thank you very much for watching. Kia kaha, and I'll see you next time.